Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to bring you is season 5 episode 8 of City Signings now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it come and try and hit 60 likes on today's video that will be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers trying to hit that by the end of the year so if you could subscribe that will be massively massively appreciated don't forget as well to get that post notification bell on it so you never miss a video of when I upload and if you want to check out any of the other videos where I talk about Bradford City's recent sign who's made eight now so far this season then you can check it out as a playlist on the channel but today well actually yesterday Bradford City finally completed the permanent signing of Jan Songo from Morecambe on a two-year deal it's another fantastic addition for Derek Adams side I'm looking forward to it we do have a bit to talk about in today's video with Derek Adams saying that he only wants eight signings we now have made eight signings but they're still just under two months of the transfer window left so we've got a little bit to talk about in today's video so make sure you drop a like on it and subscribe let's get into it so yesterday at 14 minutes past five bradford city tweeted saying welcome to promotion winning midfielder Jan songo who arrives at the utility energy stadium on a two-year deal now they actually kind of teased this at around three o'clock there was i think the tweet a picture of the seven sign is already made and asking the fans who do they want as number eight you know, the majority of them were Jan songo i've seen a couple of people saying paul mullin and there were a few more saying conor mcelaney i think paul mullin's very unrealistic mcelaney if he didn't want to come in january if that were true because he wanted to go to a league one side in the summer i don't see why he'd come now but obviously we have made eight signings Derek Adams said he wants eight so we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute but in terms of the article Bradford City tweeted out saying City secure Songo signing a commanding 29 year old Songo arrived at the Utility Energy Stadium having helped Markham triumph over Newport County in last season's Skybet League 2 playoff final under manager Derek Adams he also helped Adams achieve promotion to Skybet League 1 while at Plymouth Argyle having first worked together in the Scottish Premiership with Ross County. Having began his career in Spain with Real Zaragoza, the former France and Cameroon youth international has also served spells at the likes of Sporting Canas City, Orlando City, Blackburn Rovers and Scunthorpe United prior to his time at the Mazuma Stadium. Tongo said, I am delighted to have got the deal done. When I got the call from the gaffer, I felt it would be a huge assignment for me at a historic club. I am keen to be a part of the project the gaffer is building and was desperate to come in as soon as possible so I'm really pleased to be here. I'm a player who no matter what position he's playing in will give 110%. I like to protect the back four and start attacks to help us win matches. The gaffer has already found a way to get the best out of me and has helped me progress wherever I have been with him. This is a club which speaks for itself and it did not have to be sold to me too much. I am excited for what is ahead and hopefully helping us achieve our aim, which is this season undoubtedly promotion. Adams added, I am delighted to have been able to bring Jan here with us as a player I know so well and have a huge amount of trust in. Having worked with him at three other clubs, I have no doubts over not only the character we are bringing in, but also what Jan will add onto the field. He's a battler and a winner with real resilience and a physical and mental strength. Jan will, all, will give his all on the field for his teammates and supporters and typifies the kind of values needed to play for Bradford City. I have a feeling our supporters will enjoy watching Jan put his body on the line for three points over the next two years and beyond, and I'm looking forward to working with him once again. Songo will be sponsored by Metal Tech for the 2021-22 season. He's signing is subject to the relevant EFL and FA clearances. So moving on to Songo's career, he started out his youth career with Deportivo La Cruna from 2000 to 2008. He then moved to Metz from 2008 to 2009, and then went to Zaragoza from 2009 to 2010. Then, when he turned professional, he went to Zaragoza's B team from 2010 to 2011 before completing a move to Sabadell in the 2011-12 to 12 season. He then went to Pabola Maf Um What league are they in? They are another Spanish team for 2012. And then in 2013, he was with Sporting Kansas City, but he didn't make an appearance there. So he went out on loan to Orlando City, where he played 12 times, scoring once. He then was at Blackburn from 2004, uh, 2013 to 2015, where he didn't play at all. So he went out on loan in 2014 to Ross County, where he played 17 times, scoring three goals. In 2016 to 2019, he was with Plymouth Argyle. He played 121 times for them, scoring twice 
before going to Scunthorpe in the 1920 season where he played 16 times then finally last season he was with Morecambe playing 37 times scoring six goals as well so that's not too shabby at all but to say he's 29 He's not played a lot of football, has he? That's, I think that's less than 200 games, which I think for, for a midfielder who's 29, I don't think that's a lot. Maybe that he's, a, I don't know, maybe if I'm comparing that to someone like a, a Gareth Barry who made multiple hundred appearances, then maybe. But yeah, I just feel like less than 200 appearances when he's 29. I don't know, maybe is he, is he just struggled for game time? Is he being a little bit injury prone? I'm not really too sure, but that's something a little bit interesting. But that does not take away anything from Jan Songa. Having watched him play in the League 2 playoff final, I know he was absolutely unreal for Morecambe. Definitely one of their standout players. We've been linked with him ever since that game. He obviously, I don't know if he rejected a contract with Morecambe or he didn't get offered one, but he was always going to come to Bradford. He's been on holiday for the past few weeks, as I touched in my video yesterday. That's why I don't think it has been announced. But finally, it has been announced. What are your thoughts on Yang, Yan Songo signing from Morecambe on a two-year deal? Let me know down in the comments below. I would be very interested to hear what you guys have to say. But before we end today's video, I do just want to quickly talk about the fact Derek Adams said that he wants a squad of 24. We now have that squad of 24. And there's still two months left of the window. He's made his eight signings that he wants. I believe Andy Cook counts in that. For me personally, I still think we need another striker. I touched on it yesterday's video. I don't think Lee Angle and Andy Cook is, is enough strikers. You need somebody else there. I know Isa and Vernon can play there, but then that we lose a little bit of quality on the wing area. Say if we put Isa and Vernon up front, that means you can have Crankshaw on the wing, and it probably would have to then be Gareth Evans, which, I mean, maybe you could have Gilead as well, so... We, we do have options, yes, but I just don't think we have enough strikers. I do think we need to bring in another forward, someone like a McElhaney. Paul Mullen, I think, is a bit unrealistic, but if that would happen, it'd be a very, very good signing. He, he needs to prove himself because a lot of people thinking Paul Mullen's a one-season wonder. Cambridge obviously named the stand after Paul Mullen. He was there for a year, and then he's decided to leave, so that's quite amusing. But I think that one's very unrealistic. He's been linked with Charlton, so... If Mullin was to happen, that'd be a, you know an unreal signing. But I think he's probably going to want a, ma a massive pay rise. You know, I think a League One club, it's like a Charlton, you know, big club of Charlton, probably are going to be able to afford to do that a little bit more than we are in a league below. And obviously, Charlton, they're going to be challenging for promotion to the Championship. If Mullin really wants to test himself, he probably would go there if the rumours are true that Charlton are interested. We've also not dipped into the loan market at all completely. I thought we'd have got you know maybe one or two players on loan from Leeds United. We seem to be building a good little connection with their academy so I'm surprised that we've not gone in for anybody on loan there we've not got any players on loan which I think in the long term is definitely a good thing you know you're not developing another team's players but we are we are in league two Leeds are in the Premier League so he's not exactly going to be playing against them anytime soon but that is also very interesting the fact we've not gone into the loan market at all like I said though there's still two months left of the window this could potentially be the last episode of City signings until January so if it is make sure you smash a like on it and uh, you know show it some love and all that sort of stuff but that is where I am going to leave today's video if you have enjoyed a like as always will be massively appreciated can we try and hit 60 likes as I said at the start of the video that would be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year so if you could subscribe that would massively massively appreciate don't forget as well to get that post notification bell on so you never miss a video of when i upload get your thoughts in down in the comments below what are your thoughts on yan songo joining from morecambe on a two-year deal for me personally i'm absolutely buzzing i think he's captain material i think for me it's either between party and songo for that captain's armband either one of them to get it i would not complain at all make sure to come over and follow me on twitch basically as soon as this video goes out i'm gonna be live until probably about nine o'clock over on twitch doing a non-league to legend football manager style save so make sure you come over there and drop me a follow have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next video peace